This is going to be your guide for using Sylveon in Pokemon Unite, and my goodness is this thing broken, and we can show how broken it is with the moveset because Triple Glasses the meme is viable on Sylveon. This Pokemon puts out so much damage, you can get away with it. And that brings us to Unite-DB.com where we can look at the values and this is also where I'm going to say Hyper Voice is the pick. 100%! You need to learn how to use Hyper Voice because Mystical Fire is completely fraudulent. Okay, actually I'm going to say 99% fraudulent because there is the weirdest interaction with Sylveon. Hyper Voice is the best, but Mystical Fire is the counter to Hyper Voice Sylveon, so like in a Sylveon versus Sylveon matchup. However, Pokemon Unite is not played in a vacuum because of teammates. So maybe if there's like a 1v1 tournament or something, the Mystical Fire counterpick in the Hyper Voice might be the play, but Hyper Voice is just better. You do more damage in team fights, you do more damage to wild monsters, you have more secure potential. The Mystical Fire just drops off and like, look at the numbers. So the weird thing about Mystical Fire is I also think that the more people play against Sylveon, the worse it's going to get because it's, it's just front loaded on damage. Because of this, after the first flame hits, subsequent flames deal 25% damage. So it's not like you're getting four times this, and it can also be really scary when a Sylveon jumps in on you and then you just lose a third of your health from the first Mystical Fire, but that's as bad as it gets, and like the other flames will hit you and stuff, but again, that's when you can like just counter engage onto the Sylveon, unless you're choosing its Unite move, more on that later, and then you just deal with the Sylveon. Hyper Voice, it kind of keeps you in a pretty good sweet spot of safety while doing increasing amounts of damage. So Mystical Fire is like front loaded on the damage, Hyper Voice is scaling damage, and it just doesn't even make sense at how much damage it does and how this works. So the damage dealt increases the farther the target is from Sylveon, you can see that in the indicator. Every time a sound wave hits, enemy special defense is reduced by 50 for Hyper Voice only, and the next sound wave's damage increases. So, they're getting their special defense reduced, which ends up in being more damage, and then the damage of sound wave itself increases, so it just becomes absurd. And at level 10, which is a very early upgrade, increases the number of sound waves by one. So, 7 with 67% scaling, some crazy level scaling, some crazy base, and then it just ticks up over time. Every point of special attack Sylveon gets just becomes crazy value, which is why this is viable. However, there is an inescapable rule in Pokemon Unite, and that is until the nerf, Buddy Barrier is king. But the thing is, the Buddy Barrier isn't for you. Your Unite move is so strong that you don't even need Buddy Barrier to survive in fights. The Buddy Barrier is to give a shield to a dive buddy or to save them when something goes crazy in team fight, and then allows you to have a friend while you're one-shotting the enemy team. And then that's also where the math gets weird because we got rid of wise glasses since there is just the math and weirdness behind wise glasses and I think it gets even mathier and weirder. So I don't know if this is 100% confirmed yet, but it looks like all percent increases to your stats are just going to be additive with other increases. So it's not like, oh, the wise glasses gives you a 7% base and then everything on top of that is more efficient or that it applies like other buffs and then the wise glasses. It all seems like it's lumped together, which actually makes wise glasses less efficient on Sylveon because it's gaining special attack through its passive and and I also strongly recommend the Calm Mind because every little bit of special attack scales into Hyper Voice so much it's insane. And the level 12 upgrade is where things get a little bit extra weird because that comes online at a really good time. Even in a bad game, you can scrape level 12 by Zapdos. It's a level 13 hard power spiking Pokemon that have a time like coming back, hitting that, and then trying to turn some at Zapdos if they're already really far behind. So like, you can hit level 12 and then Calm Mind is nasty. One time while using this move, if Sylveon is hit by an enemy's move, the damage is completely nullified and Sylveon is granted a shield. And it's also a pretty good shield when it's like, alright, Calm Mind shield into Hyper Voice or into your Unite move or something like that. And the thing is, Unite moves are telegraphed. It's like you just hear for the enemy Unite move, use Calm Mind, and then you just absorb their Unite move. Absurd value. 
Um, after that, you know, special attack is increased by 40%. Special defense is kind of weird because we don't have draft pick. Now, there's probably going to be special attackers and a Sylveon at this point on the enemy team. So, like, Sylveon has this weird thing about its kit where it feels like an anti-mage, but no, nah, it's just the best Pokemon in the game. So, all these things about, like, increasing special defense don't really matter, but as we saw, 40% on the special attack from Calm Mind, and then you get uh, 6 stacks of 2.5% special attack on your adaptability passive, that's gonna be another 15%. So Sylveon is getting 55% special attack. So if what's speculated about Wise Glasses is true, you're not getting all of that and then extra benefit on top of it, you're just getting 62% bonus special attack compared to 55%, which has like that diminishing return kind of feel. So even with that, at the end of the day, Choice Specs is better, we refer to the dock, even though I'm not like showing Sylveon on the screen, it's still the same idea. If you make like two or three scores, then Specs is just doing better, and with the crazy high amount of scaling, and also, like Specs gives you the flat stats, so Specs is going to give you, you know, however much special attack you're getting from scoring, that then gets boosted by the 55% from your passive and calm mind, whereas that's not happening for the wise glasses, so you're just getting raw scaling value which makes the specs way more just way better and the thing is even though buddy barrier focus band is law i feel that sylveon is too frail for that to matter because maybe focus band saves you once but then you're getting ganked you're getting dove on you're going to get engaged you're going to get mistimed on that cooldown and then you're just dying anyways so like the focus band might also give you some kind of like false security but in my philosophy on Sylveon, death is the hardest CC. You're better off just KOing them before they KO you, instead of being like, I'm going to run away with my focus band. Now, you need to find all the damage that you can get. And this is also, like, one of the weird things where if you wasted... Well, it's not even a waste, but I mean, like, if you still had super item enhancers and, like, you end up with a 30 specs or... Yeah, 30 double specs or something, it's actually just value. It's actually just insane because you're getting, like... 1000% scaling on your hyper voice so the 10 special attack that you're getting on these is like oh yeah that's hundreds of damage and then just scales and gets more multiplicative value and crazy stuff like that also specs doing the damage every six seconds it matters it's going to front load the hyper voice which is back loaded it's it's wacky the, the, the game the pokemon doesn't make sense with how much damage it does on the hyper voice and anyone saying mystical fire is better they're a fraud don't listen to them anymore. They have no idea what they're talking about. They have no game sense. They don't have a read on how things work because Hyper Voice is just it. Now let's take a look at these stats though because that's where things get weird on like cooldown reduction and how Pokemon scale and stuff. So Sylveon only ending up with that 10% cooldown reduction at level nine. And this kind of shows another thing about Sylveon is that it's not as level dependent as other Pokemon and its moves come online really early. Hyper Voice at level 4. You get that before Vespaquin, and then Hyper Voice secures Vespaquin. It's ridiculous how strong the Hyper Voice is. Like, it just it just takes whatever it wants. It, you, just, you just get it. And, it, yeah, you just yell at them, and then they back down, and then you one-shot them, or you take all the camps, and then you outscale them. You get a level on them, and then you one-shot them. They just continue to one-shot everything that is in your path. But it's not like Cinderace, where it's like, yo, Cinderace wants to hit that level 9 and then just get 30% crit while also having a true night move and then taking over the game from there. You don't gain any kind of crazy stuff from the levels and like the 5% cooldown reduction at level 5. You already have your hyper voice at level 4. You're fine. You get baby doll eyes at level 2. So now you have two damaging moves at level 2, which is also kind of nuts. And then calm mind at level 6 and then the upgrades are coming online at level 10 and level 12. So... Like, Sky Sylveon has all the tools to get ahead. Like, even if you get KO'd once early in lane, you're fine. You just come back, and then you scream at them, and then you steal some Pokemon, and then you just get back into the game. And then you're you're just going to find the levels. You're going to find time to get strong and ridiculous. And then that brings us to the Fairy Frolic. I don't, I don't know what happened. Like, how does this move exist? Like, if you watch a successful fairy frolic usage in your games it's it's just unacceptable jumps in the air and becomes invincible so if you're seeing opponent unite moves if you're seeing just like crazy threat coming your way boop you're getting out of it now it's brief you know you're not invincible during the the entirety of the, well actually you're invincible during the leap but then you also get a lot of effects after that so you get a good amount of invincibility 
and then you pop off. Now, the damage on Fairy Frolic isn't crazy, but the rest of Sylveon's damage is nuts. The moment Sylveon lands, deal damage to enemies in an area of effect and restore Sylveon's hit points. For 10 seconds, 50 percent spell vamp 50 percent damage dealt by sylveon so yeah it's, it's spell vamp not lifesteal or not omni vamp every ability you do heals you for 50 percent of the damage dealt so you're thinking draining kiss is good no you just go calm mind into the hyper voice you're one shotting people and then you're getting all of your health back so if you're hitting multiple targets even if some of them are close and not in, like the sweet spot range of hyper voice you're still healing an impossible amount of health back for 10 seconds while you're also zooming around with the Unite move passive. Another crazy thing about the Calm Mind is that it does give you a speed increase. So you can use that to like track people a little better and stuff. Like it, it just Hyper Voice Calm Mind is the play. Like I stumbled into it on my first game. I was like, yep, this is it. This is the best and only way of running Sylveon and the gameplay speaks for itself. Um... I think like this this is it you know I'm thinking like I'm trying to figure out focus bands place or other items but you are really just like that crazy damage you are the talon flame of special attackers not the same kind of play style but the same kind of idea where it's like top flames going in and getting KO'd however people are refusing that play style now because it seems like fly in and then flame charge back into your team you know you don't even like try to just commit damage or int you just fly in flame charge away you wait for fly to come back and you just keep pestering the opponent like that until they run out of health faster than you uh sylveon isn't that way sylveon is stand your ground yell at them and then they're just going to go away so that's that's pretty good um you can like you can get greedy you can run the triple but as we saw like even with all the special attacking items wise glasses just isn't a good item it just isn't effective um, boost attack doesn't really do anything. Gives, uh, Sylveon a speed boost, but if you're running the Calm Mind, kind of matters, doesn't. The adaptability pixelate, it, once it gets, like, you're going to be running in and taking hits, and you're also going to be stacking multiple hits with the Hyper Voice, or even the Mystical Fire. It's so, like, pixelate is going to scale and come online. Swift hits multiple times, so the adaptability is a thing. And, yeah, like... It, th that's just the game. Is it, wait, wait, wait. What's the offense rating? Three and a half. Completely fraudulent. This this Pokemon does not do the same amount of damage as Pikachu. What are the devs on? Where? What is happening here? So after all that madness, we can go into the battle items. We're probably thinking, well, Sylveon is one of the squishiest characters in the game. And my goodness, is this Pokemon frail. If you get caught, you do not have much time to live. You need to be very careful and very safe. Now, fortunately, you don't get, like, super hard giga one shot by every pokemon like if a lucario power up punches you you're hurt you are very low but you're alive so there's an opportunity to do something get away with something but yeah like even at level 15 and 260 defense 190 like level 9 136 defense 100 special defense so technically the focus band does give you a lot of value because of how low your defenses are so it just gives you natural stats and better scaling than like focus band on any other pokemon when it's on cooldown but even then it's like nah just you, the, the damage you, you'll understand if you're a good player and you know how to position and you know how to like land the hyper voices is just good it, it will work out for you but i mean like the eject bun the problem with the eject bun is that it doesn't get you into hyper voice positioning you're either flashing away from the enemy or you're also flashing like to catch up to them which might like move around the the sweet spot too much because of the distance that a jet bun covers and like the positioning it's just not worth it what I like more on pretty much every Pokemon is full heal, and that is as true for Sylveon as any other Pokemon. Because let's say you're getting chased down, and they're like trying to stun you, and they're trying to like lock you down, and they're trying to like, you know, slow you. They're just trying to do anything. Now, you full heal, and then you call mind, and now you can keep up with them and do whatever you want, and then you keep them in the hyper voice sweet spot, and they just get KO'd. They take so much damage that it doesn't matter. If they're like trying to chase you down the eject bun would have just thrown away a kill by you running away a winnable fight or also like weird positioning and then missing stuff like full heal you just use that and then you just run into whatever team fight you want and then you just get to land the damage that needs to be landed um also really good for like dreadnought zapdos uh comboing with all of your other stuff and then you're just you're just able to set off and get whatever you want it's it's super crazy um nothing else really like the x attack again it's kind of like the wise glasses now this might be worth a test, and this could be its own video, so maybe keep an eye on that. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, all that good stuff. 
it, depending on how that data comes out, like if X attack actually is a modifier on top of all modifiers, then yeah, this is going to be ridiculous because you're getting 20%, but also a 20% on top of the 50% and all the other weirdness going on. And then that's just raw damage, but it's also going to give you like two hyper voice uses of the X attacks. So that could be super strong as well. I, I just don't like the windows for it. You know, hyper voice, it's not, it is a spam bowl ability. Sylveon's weird, guys. Like, you just pretty much just always be casting Hyper Voice, because the low cooldown is what makes Hyper Voice so unacceptable. Yes, I know Mystical Fire gets cooldown reduction whenever it hits or something. The thing is, Hyper Voice just feels like it's pretty much always up. You're just, you're just yelling at them non-stop. It's constant, and it means that you can, like, catch that in the X attack and then do some pretty nasty things. But I just feel like it might mess around with how you're looking at the play pattern but if you get into it that's pretty good however crowd control instantly dead doesn't matter what happens but like full heal again like full heal makes it where you are in the sweet spot and the only other item i could think about is maybe fluffy tail but in practice it never worked for me because you have to get so close to the uh camp to use fluffy tail and then back up to then hyper voice like it is a lot of damage it does like do some cool stuff but it just turns out like nah hyper voice is enough damage on its own and you want that full heal for the fight instead so then you ko the enemy team and the objective is a lot easier to secure and i think that's going to be it for the battle items and how sylveon works and i should have had gameplay up so i'm like we we don't need to go into the practice tool except for one thing and that's swift because swift is actually a really weird move you shoot out attacks from different sides and the side that it starts from is pseudo random because it's based on the side of the map that you're on and then it doesn't change for the rest of the game but it will change from game to game so we are on a right side swift start but some games it's going to start from the left so you need to be aware of that because landing swift can be kind of tricky like ironically swift is one of the easiest to miss moves in pokemon unite and there's like situations where like the first one will hit and then like the other one will just go over so you need to hit them like hit the apom in the dead center with it or else it's just going to look a little awkward or if you're like trying to catch an angle as they're moving it's like oh yeah, I should have remembered that was on the right side or something like that. Baby Doll Eyes, also like just surprisingly decent amount of damage. Really good to slow an opponent. So like Baby Doll Eyes is mostly once you hit level four, you want to use Baby Doll Eyes. To just make sure like they, they eat as much hyper voice as possible. And yeah, just don't overthink the swift. Like there are like some things where like, oh, if I start close to the right side and then I drift left, you know, you can maybe get a little bit of extra hits in and kind of feel that. But yeah, just like, you're gonna miss it, and it's gonna feel bad, but it's not the end of the world, and then that's when you just go Hyper Voice, and here's here's the showing of Hyper Voice, guys, like, you just get bees, and, like, that's it, and then you can use that to wait for the opponents, like, use cooldowns, you know, you threaten a baby doll eyes, you just, like, auto-attack one of the combies, and then you, like, threaten taking it, and then boom, like, Vespa Quinn is just gone, and then once you're getting those later hits of Hyper Voice, very, very difficult to contest. That's kind of it. And even though you're running score specs, you are vulnerable. Make sure you get a gank before you try to score. Make sure you, like, hard win a fight. If you KO someone and then they hide on the goal and then you KO them, but you know the enemy or their ally is running back up, don't try to force the score. Just fall back and scale because you hit that level 5, you're gaining special attack. Your hyper voice is getting nastier. You hit that level 6, well, now there's nothing they can do about you. So you hit the level 6, you run in with the uh, Calm Mind, that's when you get the double kill. That's when you get your scores. That's when you start scaling for Dread and all. That's like, you get the scores, Apom like respawns or something, and then you get two or three dunks, and now your specs is online because you had patience. But yeah, like this is it. You just hide in that sweet spot and everything's dead. Everything's gone. Sylveon is nuts. Uh, counters are Gengar, so this might just swing Gengar back into the meta, and other Sylveon using Mystical Fire. Um, if, like, Lucario jumps on to you, just know that Lucarios are greedy. They always go for their bone or something. And they're trying to do, like, just the bad player score shield cheese. Just wait for them to land. And then you go, boop. And then you just, like, chase them down. And at least you burn steadfast. At least you burn some kind of ability or something. Uh, what, I was going to say, what do we do to the enemy Pokemon? They just don't. They know. They know the strength. They don't even want to mess with this. Um, also, pre-level 6, you know, you just wait for the Pokemon to land if they're going for score shield cheese. Like, it does nothing for them. All right, yeah, and this is what I mean by one shot pretty much had it and then like yeah boom like two follow-ups 
around le like at level four if if the enemy team goes for like an early score you just you just wait and then you hyper voice them down to half they flash or burn focus ban then you just wait for a gank or you just chill and then they try to come back and then you just get free vespa queen you get free pressure they have to hide under their goal for a while or use citrus bears or something like you will catch people off guard with the damage and the scoring they get from score shield doesn't matter the score itself doesn't matter the experience doesn't matter like just just don't bait your moves like if you use hyper voice while they're trying to charge it and then they get the score shield off anyways that's that yeah you don't do that just wait for them to land and then you kill them and then game's easy so i didn't show a lot of gameplay with this one that's because like i have i'm going to be uploading a lot of videos showing this so that's why i recommend um find my sylveon videos hopefully i put as many of them as i can remember put in the description but what this character does is unacceptable and you really just need to see it throughout a full game in action multiple games multiple times to really see the filth that this pokemon puts out and then you'll understand why hyper voice is clearly the best option but overall, this is just kind of like breaking down the numbers the efficiencies the items and all that fun stuff so if you guys enjoy the video hope you all have a nice day thank you very much for watching